I've learned so much on the street. The Lord has has blessed me because I've I've answered the call uh, to go to the highway, the byway, the marketplace, hey, and invite the people, give them opportunity to come to the wedding. There's going to be a meeting, meeting in the air, in the sweet, sweet. By and by. I hope that I will see you, see you in the air. I really do. So the 31st of the 8th, yeah? Yeah. 2014, nosing into September. Hey? Glory, hallelujah, with a bit of earth, wind and fire. Yeah, so I was on the street and I came across a Salvation Army fellow. Just make mention of this again. I don't know whether I mentioned it last Wednesday at the teaching. And he went by, had a lot of badges on him, Salvation Army, Salvation Army, but he wasn't the typical officer. He might have been working with the programs or something, but he had a few Salvo badges and had a bit of authority, obviously, because he went up to the bank. The bank wasn't open and the bank opened for him and they had a chat. The Salvation Army bloke. He said, I don't need that, I'm a Christian. I said, oh, right. I said, oh, I'm not. I said, I'm a disciple of Jesus. I'm not, I'm not game enough to use that word Christian. Every man and his dog uses it. It's only mentioned once in script, isn't it, really? And I don't know whether that was put in by the version writers. Hey? I like to make sure people know who I am and, and who I'm following. I don't like just using the word God or you know, God. God. Which God are you talking about? Jesus? Oh, well, he's not really God. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. He said, I'm not, uh, uh, I don't need that. I'm a Christian. And I said, well, I'm a disciple of Jesus. Hey? And when he came back, he was such a Christian, he, he couldn't look at me. He just turned the other way as if I wasn't even there. And I thought, well, that's certainly not the fruit of the Spirit that I've read about in the Bible. Hey? Nosing on further into the week, um, I'm pretty sure it was Thursday, wasn't it, love? We ran into uh, yeah. Kay McGrath, Kay McGrath mm -hmm. from Channel 7. And there yeah, she was standing there. And Sister Jovi said to me, there's, there's Kay McGrath. And I went... Kay! <laughs> haven't seen her, haven't seen her for years. And she looked at me and she went, Oh right. No. No, she said She said, um, Oh yes, hello. And I I said to her, I said, Oh, I gave you a bit of literature years ago. Then Jovi tells me it was thirteen. 13 years ago, in the exact same place, exact same place in Milton. I was having a coffee there the other day. Exact same place. And I had opportunity to give her the Amazing Grace brochure. Simply amazing, isn't it? And she laid hold of it and went forward. Eh? It's not by mind, it's not by power. It's by my spirit, says the Lord. It's not by sausage sizzles. Look, if you're going to catch people with sausages, you're only going to end up with sausages. You know? <laughs> <You're> only... <laughs> Silly sausages. You, you, you're not going to end up with the bona fide. You've got to have the correct bait on the hook. You know what I mean? It has to put it on and <laughs> the word. The word. That's what we throw out. We put on the hook. And if we catch them with the word, we don't have to jump through the hoops and perform and entertain and all the rest of it. Do it. All is well. Okay? Last Wednesday I mentioned the Anglican Church and uh, one of the fathers. And his name, I didn't mention his name, it was Rod Bauer. Um... He's the one that had on his notice board outside his church 
Some people are gay, get over it. Some people are sodomites, get over it. I mean, you know, it's acceptable. That we all may be one, so to speak. And uh, uh, this gay chappy, this sodomite said, I seen the sign and I went there to check it out. And uh, I ended up staying. Him and his wife or husband to me ended up staying. Hey, you just think about what I just said. Some people are sodomites, get over it. And so he ended up staying there. I don't know, you know, how long he's going to last there, but he stayed there. He said he, he, he felt that it was a, um, a place of, of love. And Father Rod Bauer said, oh, yeah, this, this sodomite said that um, when the news uh, reporter said, how did you find the place? It's not your, your traditional Anglican church. He said, I found it a mix between religion and society. Well, that certainly ain't biblical, is it? A mix between religion, not there's no righteousness mentioned, just religion. A mix between religion and society, the gay said. And then Father Rod Bauer said, it's not about being right or wrong, it's about evolving. It's about evolution. No. It's about evolving. It's not about being right or wrong. It's about evolving, evil evolution or evil solutions. Yeah? Evil solutions. And finally, before we go into the message today, Brother Donald uh, Wilson up in uh, Bribey Island there, he sent me a brochure the other day about um, uh, uh, on sodomites that he'd done, and it's called uh, Far From Gay. Yeah, far from gay. And I, I got this message in the mail, uh, in my mailbox, um, the very day after I ministered uh, on uh, the days of Noah, the days of Lot, Vashti and Jezebel. And then this come in the mail. Well, if that ain't dovetailing in the Holy Ghost, I don't know what is. Hey? Those who are of the Spirit and those who love the Lord contacted each other and those who obeyed the Lord were in fellowship with each other and the Lord wrote a book of remembrance, Malachi. And uh, the Lord knows those who are really His. Is that right? Yes, it is. So let's Go into our message today in the writing. We're going to read here the New Testament today. And remember, we're still in Psalm Season Series. JTC, our mission, Psalm Season Series. And referencing King David was a psalmist uh, among chief, I believe, of psalmists. And he wrote uh, songs and psalms about the Lord and the Lord's ways and, and his salvation and his judgment and his righteousness and, and how much he loved the Lord. And, and then, then the Lord says to us, sing unto me a new song. And then the Lord put songs in my heart as I pondered on the writings of the Lord Brian Houston was on TV this morning talking about, oh, the mystery journey, you know, the mystery uh, of God. And, and, and when we listen to the call of God, it's a real mystery. We don't really know what's going on down the road. Look, I, I don't see too much uh, um, mystery about price tags, barcodes and tithing. I don't see any mystery about that. I really don't see that as a mystery. 
I, I, what I see a, a, as a mystery and, and, and we don't know what's happening next is walking by faith. Price tags, barcodes and tithing is not walking by faith. That's walking by fear. I, I don't know whether I'll be able to cover the cost. Well, if you can't, the Lord didn't call you to do it. The apostolic man Peter said, um, finances have I none. Hey? But he'd done the job that the Lord called him to do, didn't he? By faith. By faith. A lot of Pentecostal churches, not just the Assembly of God, but a lot of Pentecostal churches talk about, you know, getting out of the boat and doing the Peter thing, walking on the water. You got one of them, sister? Yeah. But... Price days and barcodes are not getting out of the boat. Price days and barcodes are <coughs> staying in the boat. Other than that, it's getting out of the boat, boat, and getting into the ocean liner. But walking on water. Is no price tags or barcodes, no tithing, no membership fees. Hey, no registration books. This little song the Lord gave me back in 2007. I was singing it <coughs> and had it penned some time before then, but that's when I made it public. So we're going back seven years. It's about the liberty that we have in Jesus that most don't tap into. Hey? There's this liberty to be found in Him. There's such joy for us all in the light of the King. Such a wonderful place Right here under his wing Won't you come today Won't you turn to him Na 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 Thank you. 
Another Statue of Liberty. Luke 4, let's read it in verse 17. And he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, proclaim liberty to the captive, recovery of sight to the blind, and set at liberty. And set us free. All who are oppressed to proclaim the appropriate and the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down in the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. I'm going to leave it there. That's the title of our message today. Not the Statue of Liberty, but the Liberty that's found in him. Luke 4, 17, and he handed the book. And he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written and he read. And they were astonished, weren't they? Hey? Verse 22, so all bore witness to him and marveled at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth and they said is this not joseph's son there it is isn't it is this not the anointing see the anointing the liberty that was on jesus you know when jesus came from heaven to earth jesus never came in bondage jesus was never bound Hey, he always had that liberty. <laughs> the devil did, I believe, try to hinder him in Gethsemane, but it was very, very, very limited time, wasn't it? But he had this uh, liberty about him. And we're going to look at that word liberty uh, later on. But the Spirit of the Lord is upon us that we may proclaim liberty to those who are oppressed. And look, what a time. What a time for us to proclaim liberty, hey? What a time we're in. John, uh, John 16, can we go there, please? John 16, hey? There's such liberty. There's such liberty. John 16. There's such liberty to be found in him. Such joy for us all in the life of the king. John 16:33. These things I have spoken to you, that in me, in me, in me, in me, you may have peace. In the world, you will have trouble, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. In me, there's a liberty home to be found in heaven. That's where it's found. That's where the liberty is. Nowhere else. Don't look anywhere else. Don't think you can find it anywhere else. Don't think you can find this kind of liberty at the beach or, 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 or uh, in a remote island somewhere or in uh, a million dollar lottery win. Don't think you can find this liberty just anywhere. It's in him. Ooh. 
Jesus, this is liberty to be found in Him. Joy for our soul in the light of the King. Woo. Remember Adam and Eve? Remember the misery they came into and the shame and the guilt, the pain? They weren't in the light of the Lord. They weren't in the light of the King. I guarantee any man, any woman that has met Jesus and been born again and puts their foot in the, in the darkness, I tell you what, there's going to be misery. There's going to be trouble. There's going to be shame. There's going to be pain. There's going to be guilt. There's going to be a worthless feeling. Right? And many times the, the, the congregation, they go to the pastor and the pastor pats them on the back and says, all right, you know, it's okay. We all make mistakes or we all sin willfully. And they just go back again a week or so later. The minister never tells them, look, you have to repent. You haven't repented yet. You, you, you haven't turned. Your sorrow is not godly. It, it, it's the sorrow of the world. Eh? When our sorrow is godly, eh? there's such joy. We sang that chorus this morning. Uh, Every day is a jubilee day, didn't we? Every day is a jubilee day. So that sets you free. If the Son of God sets you free, free to be in me. Every day is a jubilee day. Jubilee, oh jubilee, oh freedom, see? Not the Statue of Liberty. I'm not ministering about the Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty in the New York Harbor can't do jack for you. I don't care what people say about it or think about it. That gives you a bit of an idea, doesn't it? A bit of a profile of what they were thinking about in New York and it certainly wasn't God with us. <laughs> and what was there? What's the Statue of Liberty? Is it male or female? It's female. It's matriarchal. Adam and Eve hiding in the darkness. They weren't in the light. The liberty is in him. In me. Doing what I say, we can't escape obedience. We can't escape it if we want to have the blessings of the Lord. If we want to have, and I know people say, oh, the blessing of the Lord. Straight away, ching, ching, the cash register starts ringing in the head. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. Hey? I'm not talking about that at all. Let's go to 3 John. Let's have a look at 3 John 1. I'm not talking about bling bling. I'm not talking about money. The blessing of the Lord. You know, the, the Lord has so much more than uh, bill paying in mind. <laughs> he, 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 he's got power in mind. Holy Ghost power. Hey? Let's go to 3 John Verse 1, to the beloved guys whom I love in truth. Oh, that you can stop there for a couple of weeks. Hey, just park. <laughs> That's a drive-in theatre on its own. Beloved, I pray that you may, here we go, oh, prosper in all things and be in hell. Hey? Just as your soul prospers, for I rejoiced greatly when brethren came and testified of the truth and that the truth that is in you, just as you walk in the truth, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children in the spirit walk 
in the truth. Can you see that? Oh, hallelujah. There's such joy for us all in the light of the King. Can you say amen? Hey? There's such joy for us all in the light of the King. You, did you see what John says here? And many, many millions of people have got it mixed up. John says in verse 2, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Do you see that? What he's saying there is above all things. Hey? He wants us to prosper. He wants us to be healthy. And he wants our soul, our mind, our will and our emotions to be subject to the truth. Because that's where the real joy is. John didn't really want anything to do with people outside of the truth. We see that in verse 1. To the beloved guys whom I love in truth. This John, he was one that knew people after the truth. He was one that knew people after the spirit. He didn't know them in the flesh. They went, buddy, oh, mate, buddy, pal. You don't know each other after the flesh. We know each other after the spirit. There's us liberty to be found in him. Woo! Such joy for us all. Won't you come today? That's what the Lord, he sends us out, go into all the world. Tell people that the Lord wants them to be of good health. So that we can go through and proclaim the truth. That they may come into the truth and into the light and taste of the life of the Christ. And that they will be bubbling hey? they'll be bubbling they'll be like Zerubbabel they'll, they'll be rivers of living waters bubbling out of them such joy for us all in the light of the king such a wonderful place Right here under his way Won't you come today Turn, turn, turn Hey, won't you come today Isn't that the message of Jesus? Come unto me Ye who labour and are heavily laden I'll give you rest for your soul My burden is light. Why? Because you're powered. You're empowered. You've had the Holy Ghost installation. You're strengthened. You're empowered beyond any measure you could ever need. Finding more power than you would ever need when you lean on Jesus. But we have to take that yoke. It's a yoke. The Lord is loving enough and, and, and humble enough to tell us in Matthew uh, that it is a yoke. Right? And when we try to escape that yoke, it's very painful. It's like kicking against goads when we try to escape. When we try to think that we can come to the Lord... And, and, and receive him as Lord, but not let him be Lord. Because we have our own agenda and our own plans, eh? Let's go over to Habakkuk now. And we'll be encouraged in that area. Habakkuk. Hey, Habakkuk. Habakkuk. We're going to look at chapter 3. We're going to see what kind of joy this is is happening, eh? We're going to see 
What kind of joy is happening here? Habakkuk 3.17 Though the fig tree may not blossom nor fruit be on the vines, the labour of the olive is filed and the fields yield no food. Though the, the flock be cut off from the farm, there be no herd in the stall. Yes, I will still rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He'll make my feet like deer's feet and he will make me walk on my high heels. Not high heels, that's Anglican, isn't it? High heels. Men wearing high heels. That's that's a gay sort of thing, a sodomite. Hey? Transvestite, cross dresser. That's what that's, you know? Just like our father Bauer, he said, oh, you know, some of us are sodomites, get over it. Habakkuk 3, 17, 18 and 19. There's that liberty to be found in him. There's a joy for us all in the light of the king. Such a wonderful place right here under his wing. Won't you come? Won't you come today? But the time Flog is cut off from the fall. He wasn't looking for numbers. He wasn't saying, Oh, there's no one here today. Oh, I'm in despair. No, no. Jesus, the Lord, was his God. 
Hey, the Lord was his God. It's a wonderful place. Wonderful place. Isaiah. Isaiah 9. Let's go there. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. I can barely open my mouth. You know that? Ah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I can barely get my tongue to move. Such, such a wonderful place. Right here under his wing. That's where we are today. Right under his wing. Oh, I love it more. Come and get under that. Woo! Isaiah 9 said, For unto us a child is born, unto us wings have been given. I mean, a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful. Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Can you say amen? Eh? amen. Wonderful. No better place than you get under the anointed word of God. And Jesus got into the pulpit and he read from the book of Isaiah. And the people were gobsmacked and marveled and said, Man alive, who is this? Is this not Joseph's son? This fellow never came out of a Dallas Bible college. He must be ministering with the ability God's given him, you know. <laughs> Speaking is the oracles of God. Well, it's a wonderful place. Right here under his way. Won't you come today? Won't you turn to him? That's Luke 24, 47. Turning to him. We're expanding on this song the Lord gave me. I was flicking through these scriptures. You know, I, I was doing John 16, 33, Luke 24, 47. I was doing the Isaiah 9, 6 and, and, and Luke 4, 18, 19. And this, that, that's what was rising up in me. <laughs> oh, my brother was in the room saying, keep it down, where are you? It's like I just walk along that road, you know, go. Hey, it was just like I was just going along there in the spirit go. you worried today you're gonna to be worried man you know like I'm worried all the time so you're gonna to be too
Let's go to Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah. 11, 1, eh? There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his root. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, might, Spirit of knowledge, and the Spirit of the fear of the Lord. There it is there. You weren't talking about joy in the Lord. You're talking about joy in the light and peace. Talk about liberty. Da, de, da, da. We got all that happening by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey, He's given us His Spirit. Da, de, da, da. We may prosper. Look, if that's not prospering, that you will, is John was saying that you'll prosper above all things. You're listening. They say, oh, you're prospering in all things. You'll prosper above, above everything. He wants you to prosper in the Spirit. Because we know that when we're not in the Spirit, we're in the flesh, and that's a sickly realm isn't it look at Adam and Eve they felt sick straight away they were sick with shame sick to death with themselves oh no Adam we got to get out of here now we had it so good but they got prodigal just like the prodigal son he had it so good didn't he then he got sick ah he's eating the pig food he said, I'll turn. Won't you come today? Won't you turn to him? He came back home, the prodigal son, and he turned, didn't he? He turned from his own self will, turned back and said, Father, I've sinned against you and heaven. Oh, look, there was a party going on, amen. There was a celebration going on. We have that, li not, not the Statue of Liberty. I'm not talking about the Statue of Liberty. It can't do jack for you. That piece of, what is it made out of? Steel or brass or bronze or plaster? I don't know. It can't do jack for you. They'd be better off putting a big Bible up there. <laughs> if they're going to put anything, big giant Bible. And on the front cover it has repair. Woo! And then you'll be forgiven. Liberty. The L stands for love. Agape love. Agape love. Let's go to Romans. Liberty. There says liberty. We have liberty. Liberty. A liberty not found anywhere, not even in New York. It, it's in him. It's in him. Recently I said on the message, the matriarchal woman, enter the matriarchal woman. I had a little preface. And it said, uh, you won't be needing doomsday ration packs because they ain't going to help you. And, and praise God it caught on. And they, one young man from a, uh, a, a Christian uh, Facebook um, he locked in. It, it, it's called repentance, isn't it? Or re, re, repentance, uh, repent and believe. And this young man locked in, and now he's saying it. He's saying there's no, no, no use in preparing for your doomsday. We got to prepare to meet our Maker. <laughs> Found in him only. Romans 5 5. Now hope does not disappoint. Now the hope of God does not disappoint. Now the hope that Jesus dishes up does not disappoint because God's love has been poured, 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 
poured out in your hearts by the power of the Holy Ghost. And, 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 this liberty it's it loaded with love. I can't play love. Walking along, singing this song. God's brand of love does not disappoint. Right? God's brand of hope does not disappoint. God's brand of faith does not disappoint. God's brand of blessing does not disappoint. God's brand of liberty, the hours for love, agape love, just poured, poured out. Hey, he's very generous, poured. In the world, you're flat out getting a drop, and it's not even agape brand. There's a walk along. I'm always singing that song Came to set us free Gave us liberty yeah. Thank you Jesus You come and set us free Oh yeah. In this liberty we have a, a, a promise of a grand Grand, it's over in uh, Romans eight. Grand, we have a promise of a grand in this in, in this liberty. There's liberty. Romans eight to be found in him by the blood of his own, by the surely atone and the walk along. Romans 8, 17. And if we are children of Yahweh, we are then heirs of Yahweh and join heirs with the Christ. If, <coughs> if indeed we suffer with him that we may also be glorified. Eh? What sort of liberty? I mean, that's a great liberty for me to know that I have an inheritance. And all the poor and the broken down and the homeless and fatherless and motherless and friendless and, 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 and disorientated and, and uh, all, all the world can have an inheritance you cannot count. And what a joy! That is to consider when you say, oh, you know, the people of the world say, oh, my dad's going to die soon. He's going to leave me $6 million in $100 bills or gold bars. And they're rejoicing, man. They say, oh, I love my dad. He just left this all for me. You know what I mean? And you say, oh, man, you're just so happy that, oh, dad, you've done that for me. But our Father in heaven has left us an inheritance that you cannot count. It's in finite. Infinite, which makes me an infinite philanthropist. Oh! As I walk along, I sing it a song always. Can't set us free. It's so wonderful, this place. Under his wings. Oh, yeah, he hides me there. And if you are children bona fide, as in joint, joint, Joy is with him. 
Yes, I'm going to have joy about it. Aren't you going to get joyed up about that? <laughs> what liberty. I mean, that's just love for sort of funny. Uh, some mornings I can't get out of bed. I'm just, ah! Uh. I hit the ground singing. Every morning I get up. Da 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 the rain's pumping down, the thunder's cracking, the storms and the lightning, and it's dull and gloomy, and everyone's walking around looking like they've been baptized in lemon juice, and I'm there. Bad is that, Dina! Woo! Oh, yeah! I said, What's the matter with you? I said, oh, There's something happened inside, I can't hold it back! It's the word of God! It's like a fire in me! Hallelujah! I'm a joint air with Jesus in finite philanthropist. Woo-hoo. Giving the word of God free of charge. L I B R T Y. We got the B. Blessing across the board. Can someone say amen? Blessing. Blessing means. When we have that blessing of the liberty of Christ, blessing, the word means heavenly happy. That's what it really means. You know, heavenly happy. That's why I wonder in the world, you know, people talk about, oh, we were so blessed. They don't know Jesus. They don't walk with Jesus. And I think to myself, oh, I don't know about that. I think they're just using that word, just like they use the word love, you know what I mean? Because you, you've got to know Jesus. You've got to know Jesus to really know that heavenly happiness. Right? That's why the Lord said, Won't you come today? Yeah, won't you come today? Won't you turn to Him? It's a wonderful day. open our Bibles in the writings of John 3. Let's go there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm staggering here. And I'm feeling a little bit tipsy, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm trying to behave myself the other day. But I'm panic. Whatever you do. L-I-B-R-T-Y. We're in John chapter 3 and verse 5. Most surely I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit cannot enter the kingdom. They can't enter that joy, peace, power, deliverance. Hey, they can't be walking along singing a song every day. Jesus set me free because they haven't. Hey, L-I-B-E. That's the E. That's the E. That's what the E is there for. Hey, that's the end. The end. End and the beginning. The new life. Generational and traditional and and, 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 and cultural sin gone out the door. Finished. Nailed at the tree for the born again man and woman. Hey? So many bogged down today with generational curses and sins. I think it's because Uncle Bill's mother's cousin, father, uh, 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 Uncle uh, uh, 22nd removed, used to pick his nose and, and wipe it on everyone. That's why I do it. <laughs> I will join the Lord, the God of my salvation. Though I see death before my efforts. Woo! I know the word never returns void. For the word of God. It will do anything. And it will accomplish all. Let it say.
right here under his way. Hey, under, that's where we are now, right here under his wings, under the word of God. How I wanted to gather you as a hen gathers her chick, but you would not come under my wing. You would not subject yourself to my word. You would not humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Now look at the mess in Israel. Look at the mess in Iraq. Look at the mess in Russia. Look at the mess in the neighborhood. Look at the mess in the marriages. Look at the mess in the churches. Look at the mess. Look at the mess. Look at the mess. Look, at the mess. look have a look. We're born of the Word of God and born of the Holy Spirit and we're walking in the light of His Word and the past is past and can never be present or future if we have repented and turned and walked with Him. That's the beauty. That's this liberty, not the Statue of Liberty. Can't do anything like this. It cannot do anything even similar or to resemble it. You can look at that statue all day and polish it and lick its feet. You can do anything. You can feed it apples or oranges or soft drink. It won't change. It'll just be that statue sitting in the harbour reminding people that it's a godless city and a godless nation. Can someone say amen? Once you're born again, it's finished. I can tell you now, it is finished. Forget it all. What, what is it, it all behind that? Just forget it. It's got no hold on you. Once you've repented of a sin and you've really repented, forget it. No one can say boo. But if you haven't really repented, you just still walk around. Sneaking around in the darkness, fooling yourself all the way to hell. The R is for righteousness of Father. Ah. See, no liberty contains this. No, I don't look. Riding motorcycles without a shirt on or in your underwear. It, look, you know, uh, free falling out of a jet, parachuting uh, off Pizza Hut or whatever. It, it's got no liberty like this. This, this is the liberty. You know what I mean? Uh, face planting off Hungry Jacks. It's got no, look, that's got nothing compared with the liberty. Oh, Jesus offers up the best of the best. Jesus, he has it there. Just waiting. Yeah, just waiting for you. Righteousness. Righteousness of Father, hey? And the T in liberty. I mean, just before we go into the T, can you go anywhere where you can be made right? Where you can be made right? With your maker, there, there's nowhere you can go. Huh? You can't go anywhere in this world. And someone's going to make you right. You know, you've done wrong things and bad things. And... 
people don't forgive you and, and you never make it right with them. You can only be at peace with all men and women where possible. And they're not going to make you right. You know what I mean? They're not going to make you acceptable to Father. I was only saying to the children when we had a reading in the morning on the way to school, you know, got about a 40 minute time bracket. And we're talking about sketching with the righteous man die for the righteous man, but Jesus died for the sinner. I said to uh, my son and daughter and wife, I said, you know, there's some people out there that do good deeds. And they get the man out of the street in the gutter and give him a set of clothes and wash his hands and face. And uh, he goes back next week. No, uh, and, and, <laughs> and then give him a feed and put a bit of money in the pocket. But they never take him home, do they? <laughs> Never take him home. You know, you think about that. You're some pedophile or, or some sort of mine, and, and you're helping them out, and, and then you, you know, say, oh, we've done it all now. We've sorted it all out. And now come on home and live with me. <laughs> hey? Is that what they do in the churches? They say, oh, come on home and live with me now. Now, that's what Jesus does. He invites you into his kingdom. Liberty. He says, Come and live with me. Come and live. Come and live with me. For eternity. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Da 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 da. Oh, I, look, I'm going to lift this one up. His name is Jesus. Woo hoo hoo hoo. That you would abound above everything else. That you would be healthy. Because my word is sweet to the soul and health of the bones. That you would be healthy. You would be strong to go forward with the word. And that your soul, your mind, your will and your emotions. That will be just so rich. You'll be just prospering so much. Oh, what a wonderful king. Oh, what a wonderful king. Let's go to Psalm 27. Psalm 27. Man, I, 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 I don't know. I can't explain how I, I'm feeling here. I'm just so... Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Psalm 27. Oh. Psalm 27, verse 4. One thing I have desired ah, of the Lord that will I see, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord. Woo! Oh, ho, oh, oh, oh. To behold the beauty that means lightfulness his lightfulness okay? that beauty that that love that inheritance and generosity he's given us and the and the, the heavenly happiness he's given us 
and the, his own righteousness. Hey? He brought us in to the banqueting house. And the, all over us is love and, and joy and peace. Hey? We have a foretaste divine. L I B E R T. Why? Da 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 Let's go to Galatians. Let's go to, in the New Testament in Galatians. Oh, boy, boy, this is liberty. Seven years ago, the Lord put this in my heart, and I, look, I, I, I was running wild for three days, you know. I was just, oh, why, Lord? Hey? These things so undeserved. But you gave me to show your love for me. Hey? <laughs> Galatians 5. Let's read it. 22. The fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. This is liberty. There's no law against this. It's liberty. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. This is thief for treasure. Treasure in the earth and vessel. This is the treasure. Him, the, the spirit. Na 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 na. There it all is. But look at them. Just above you see your old man. Just above that in, in Galatians 5, 19. Now the works of the flesh are very evident. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lascivious, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contention, jealousy, outburst of anger and wrath, selfishness and selfish ambition, dissension, heresy, Envy, murder, drunkenness, revelries, and all the likes of this. Hey, what a joy! What he's given us! That Father's good pleasure to give us his spirit, put his spirit in us with the fruit of the spirit. Something to sing about in the brethren. Someone say amen. to the writings of let's go over to 2 Corinthians 6 and have a look there 2 Corinthians 6 <laughs> 2 Corinthians 6 14 do not do not be unequally yoked Sure. <laughs> 2 Corinthians 6. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has the righteous with the lawless, and what communion has light with dark? 
What a call has Christ with Belial, the devil. What part has a believer with an unbeliever? What agreement has the temple of God with idols? If you are the temple of the Holy Ghost, you know ye not, no ye not. That why our liberty is for yoke. You see the liberty we have, not the statue of liberty. I'm talking about the liberty and the law of liberty and the law of life in Christ. Oh, hallelujah. We have that liberty that you can get nowhere in the world. I don't care where you travel. I don't care what jungle you go to or what casino you go to or wherever you go. You will not be able to lay hold of that. It's in him. It's in him. Can someone say amen? There's liberty to be found in him. Joy for us all in a land of king. Wonderful place. Turn to him, oh yeah. Turn to him. Turn to him. Turn to him. What is it, Matthew 11? Matthew 11, 28. Yoke up with me, not Mary, not Buddha, not AOGCSC Hungry Jacks. Yoke up with me. Jesus said, singled it out, brought it down to one. Me, not Joseph Smith. Me, Jesus said. Jesus said, him, Elohim. Woo! Hey, you'll come with me. They don't want that. They want to go out of their pain and misery and heartache. They don't want to go his way. They don't want to do his thing. So every time I'm walking along just singing this song, I'm thinking in my heart, oh, if you only knew. <laughs> if you only knew what you could have. <laughs> if you were born of the Word and the Spirit. If you only knew what you could have. If you just turn to him today If you only knew What he could do for you If you only turn to him today If you only knew What he can do, nobody else can do. If you only knew what my Jesus can do for you, you'd be with him. Psalm series, Psalm season series, JTC mission. We're taking some songs that the Lord gave me over the years, down through the years. Hey, I've never been to cemetery or seminary, but I've been to Calvary. <laughs> hey? And then he said, just put these aside and you will use them to feed the flock of the Lord. And you'll be able to be instrumental in them tasting of the joy and the anointing. Yeah. 
It's such a wonderful place Such a wonderful place Yeah, under his wings Won't you come today oh, Won't you turn to him I got no other song to sing. Ooh. Beautiful Savior. He's just so wonderful, our Lord, hey? Everything we see, none of it's to be compared with Thee, hey? And we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, for we're like the wind. The scriptures say in John 3 that those who are born of the Spirit, they. Uh, walk in the spirit and where the wind blows from no one knows and where it comes from and so are they let's look at that in John 3 hallelujah hey when we get under these wings whoo boy when we get under this word of the Lord it's another another sphere altogether isn't it it's another world hey it's another world, John chapter 3. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hey? Glory to the Lamb of God. John chapter 3, verse 7. Do not marvel that I tell you, you must be born a second time, this time of a man, the Son of Man, and His Spirit. Hallelujah. The living Word and the Spirit. John chapter 3, verse 8. The wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who's born. <laughs> born of the Spirit. We don't know what's going to happen there. We don't know what the preacher's going to preach there, the pastor's going to bring. We don't know what the food will be like. We know it's going to be awesome. We know it's going to be heavenly. We know we're going to rise up with joy. We're going to rise up with peace. We're going to walk out of the place saying, oh, I was in another sphere there. Hallelujah. Woo! da 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 Welling up, welling up, oh, welling up, bubbling, oh, coming from the inner being. Hallelujah. The, the joy of knowing Him. That makes me stronger. Stronger than Superman and the Hulk. Ow! Stronger than the man in the gym today. Ow! I have the Spirit of the Lord, the same one that raised Jesus from the dead. Just enjoy it. Just soak it up. liberty we have can't be compared with inheritance and in heavenly happiness man alive hey? love the 
very thing that the whole world is starving for. Da -de -da -de -da -de -de -da 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 The generational curses and what Uncle Bill does. Oh, just forget it. Hey, in this liberty that we have, not the Statue of Liberty. Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Praise the gospel to the poor. Heal the broken hearted. Set the captive free. The perfect year of the Lord. Liberty to the captive. I want to stop. I can't stop. My hand just keeps going. And, uh, <laughs> But when he comes, the help comes. Whom I will send to you from Father, the Spirit of Truth, proceeds from Father, he will testify of me. That's what we've been doing here today. We've been testifying of Jesus. How great thou art is it in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Drink offering poured out, everybody said. <laughs>